we could say that, that in form there seem to be many paths, but but in content, really you see it's it is about forgiveness, uh, and and the, the individual variations start to fall away as you move into that. So for me, the focus has been on really getting really clear on that one percent principle, the metaphysics, very very clear, and that that itself seems to take a real willingness to be clear about principle. Because even if you practice, you got to be practicing a clear principle. And and then as you go deeper into it, it is all about the experience. And you can just notice that the ego will wants to categorize things. I was talking yesterday about variety as the spice of life. Even variety, you know, you start to see is not really a part of the curriculum. But it, the spirit will use everything that the ego made. The ego made the multiple, uh, the spirit is one. Uh, the ego made uh, separation, the, s the symbols of the world, all the cosmic images and everything. The spirit can beautifully use that to bring the, the mind back into unification. And the thing about whether, whether it's a glimpse, whether it's a warm swirl in your heart, you've, or whether these nudges that come, you've, you've had many, many beautiful, beautiful spiritual experiences. And when it comes to uh, direct connection with God, and I was saying how rare that is, it's not, it's not a judgment, it's just kind of, again, this is just to give a perspective so people don't get so depressed when they hear about somebody's ecstasy or, or whatever and, and make a comparison, like how come they had that experience and I don't. Actually, I've had the disappearance of the universe three times where the entire cosmos has completely disappeared and I was just, it was just all pure light, just the great rays or revelation or whatever. And there are no words, there absolutely are no words for revelation. It's, it's just a direct experience that transcends the words. And it was helpful uh, because it was like seeing beyond the veil, uh, completely beyond the veil. And it's all just to put things in the context that we're here to bless everyone because everyone is our mind. You know, we're here to just extend love and light and joy to everyone we meet without exceptions. And we really don't really have to get into categorizing anything. Even the seeming realms and dimensions and levels, you know, that will all collapse as well in absolute light. But while you're moving through it, you you want to fully embrace what your experiences are. You know, it's not, nobody wants to stop off at a way station, <laughs> you know, if there's if there's still somewhere, something more, or something more transcendent, we could say, not really more, just all that is. So, we like to keep it really practical here, and what we do is when people, uh, there are all kinds of beliefs around, you know, whatever, nutrition, or breathing techniques, or meditation techniques, and postures, there's, there's beliefs around all kinds of spiritual practices and everything, and we don't really stay at the form level, because that's just the starting point in terms of even symptoms. You can start off, we need to start at a starting point where we can all relate to it. That's why we use words. But when you go much, much deeper, it's very much like the Buddha or Jesus of just emptying the mind of everything. You think you think and think you know, and that's where the, the beauty comes in.